Hey, good to see you again. In investigation 2.1, we learned that we could come up with two different algorithms to help us with addition problems. We determined that when you're adding with two of the same type of numbers, in other words, two negatives or two positives. So let's say we have four plus three or negative six plus negative 10. So we're, when we're adding with two, num two numbers that have the same sign, that the sign will be the same as the two numbers. So in other words, four plus three is seven. So we have positive, positive, and a positive. When we have two negatives and we're adding, we have a negative plus a negative, and then we would get another negative, negative 16. Our second algorithm was when dealing with when we have addition and the numbers are in fact different. Well, we have four plus negative three, we found that to be one. Well, negative six plus 10, we found that to be four. Hmm. Is it always positive? Let's try another one just to make sure. Let's say we have negative 100 plus 50. Well, that answer is negative 50, okay. So what is the algorithm that we came up with? Well, we discovered that when you're adding two values that have different signs, then the result will have the same sign as the number that has the larger absolute value. Well, four has a larger absolute value than negative three. Negative six has a smaller absolute value than 10. And negative 100 has a larger absolute value than 50. And therefore, the signs follow that as well. Okay, so we found two algorithms for addition. We also discovered that when you add opposites, you get zero. Today, or tomorrow, or investigation 2.2, we are gonna determine algorithms for subtraction. So we're gonna be looking at what happens when you are subtracting two numbers of the same value, or same type, two negatives or two positives. We'll also be looking at what happens when you uh, subtract two numbers that have different signs. Will it be a positive or will it be a negative? We'll find out. That's what you need to be looking for during our investigation 2.2. Now, in investigation 2.2, we're, we're also gonna talk about the additive inverse, which is like our group three. When you're adding opposites, you get zero. The additive identity, which is when you're adding zero, you get the number, no kidding, right? It's pretty obvious stuff. In the actual investigation, oh my goodness, that's a lot of text. We're going to skip through that. In the investigation, we are going to be looking at problems that involve subtraction. And in particular, the big money event for tomorrow will be part C when we come up with our algorithms for group one and group two, then D, we will apply it. So that's what we have for tomorrow. I hope that you had a good restful evening. Your homework went well. If you have any questions on the homework, please let me know. I want to help.